Oh. Yeah, so I'm back again. More Pokemon. Yeah, we know the drill. Um. So I think I know really the gist of what I'm going to do, I guess. I think what it is. That's right, we have leg day here. God, why did I name these Pokemon this way? Alright, but so we have the gym here. We have, uh, right after the gym. Whoa, was that a mass outbreak? Huh. So we got a gym here. We got, oh god, there's <sighs> the VTuber. So, alright. Back on track. We got, uh, gym. We got uh, cloth, and then we got mellow. That's what I'm gonna- that's my goal to do today. Uh, and to start, let's fight the stupid grass man with my overpowered fire crocodile. Oh, of course it starts raining as, as soon as I start. Ooh. Sorry, that animation was just nice. Oh, hello, Nimona. Oh, hey, Jelly. Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take out the and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Uh, yeah. Yes, I knew. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you gotta pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sunflora. Let me just hunt the Sunflora. Every gym test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider me consider it me healing up your Pokemon. More of oh, super potions. I thought it was gonna be more revives. Oh, I'm so glad you're aiming to be the champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited. I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Who's this guy over here? You you've noticed what? There are lots of students passing through here these days. Have the treasure hunt started? Oh, that's what you noticed. The poor Quack- What happened to your Quaxley? When I took on this gym with my Quaxley, I got destroyed. But only with my Growlithe, right? It's not the mask. Sunflora? Let me- Why can't I talk to them? Aw, sleepy shroomish. Alright, let me fight. Welcome to Artisan Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Jelly, yes? Yepity doodah. Great. Now, in order to face the gym leader, Brassius, you first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Artisan Gym, that means completing a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. As you may know, Artisan is a city of artists. The artwork is made, made by people here is largely inspired by nature and the sun that nurtures it. Since Sunflora embodied these concepts, we try to gather them and take good care of them. Your job today is to find the Sunflora located throughout Artisan. Remember, these Pokemon look like sun-shaped flowers. Gather ten of them and bring them to the Sunflora lawn and you pass the test. I'll register the Sunflora's lawn to your map just to get you started. When you leave the gym, turn right and you'll see two large Sunflora statues. Head for those. Once you're at the lawn's entrance, the staffer there will tell you more about the gym test. Now get out of there and have fun. I can do that! I'm gonna do that! Which way did she say to turn again? <laughs> Hi there, I look after the Artisan Gym Sunflora. Hope you're ready, Challenger. It's time for a game of Sunflora Hide and Seek. I'll go ahead and ask the Sunflora to spread themselves out around town. Flora! Sounds like the Sunflora are ready for you. With that, your gym test has now begun. Once you found 10 Sunflora, please bring them back to the Sunflora lawn. That's all from me. Good luck out there. Gym test, you got the Sunflora and Artisan. Alright, I can do that! Is that a Terrastal Pokemon over there? Hold on. That, that looks like it's a Pokemon, hold on. I'll have to deal with that later. After I find the flower people. Flora, Flora, up! Oh, I found one. Sunflora! Oh, it follows me! Please don't tell me I, like, lose them. That'd be so annoying. Hello! 
Don't tell me I lost one. Did the sun floor get trapped behind the people? How? Oh my god. Is that one of the sun floor following me? This one is following me. Uh, I think. It is the one following me. It's got stuck. Bye bye, buddy. <laughs> oh. Hi. Oh, hello. No, you can you know, you can sneak by me. Comical. Absolutely comical. Oh! Oh, it teleported back! You're free! He's free! He managed to get out! Alright, that's four. Sun Kern. I definitely caught one of those. Sun Florida. Sun Florida. These are really quick. I didn't even explore this town like I said I would. Oh god. Wait. Ah, oh, I can instantly swim. I've already found six? Wow. I can't hit out. Just jump like I do. Easy. I thought you can hide. You thought. Yoink. Poison tail. Dumper has that. And that's eight. Bet there's gonna be another one in there. Whoa. I knew it! It's nine. Where's the where's the last one? Oh, is it up there? Hello! Oh no no almost no one ever it's a secret base. Dude, what do you mean no one ever makes it there? Just go in there, go in that way, and then Wait. Yeah, wait, no, what are you talking about? No, 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 no. I can eat. Oh. Hi. No, 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 but I can easily make it in. All you gotta do is just go here and go around. Oh, look, it's a dead end. No, it's not. You just go around, go through here, go around there, and it's literally so easy. Either you, sir, are stupid, or everyone else in this city is. You found a sunflora. All right, yeah, I found all of them. To the sunflora. Oh my god, it's so funny. They just. Oh, this is amazing. Just the posse of sunflora that keep teleporting because I'm way faster than them on Coridon. No, my friends! I hope you can retake gym tests just whenever you want, because that'd be kind of fun. So you got the Sunflower and Artisan. You passed. Cool. Well done, finding all the Sunflower. You passed the gym test with flying colors. Now please head back to the lobby at Artisan Gym. Report your result. I'll do that. Hold on. I want to see that, because that looks like it's a Pokemon. Because the dens are blue... What I saw from editing, uh, the last episode with the Jigglypuff, that Jigglypuff was actually glowing, like, orange, or, like, yellow. So I swear I saw Sparkle somewhere. There it is. Alright. I'm just gonna head in that direction. That doesn't look blue, at least. Right? That is a Pokemon, isn't it? Or is that a den? Oh, it is. I guess it was just flashing rainbow colors. Never mind, looks like I'm just an idiot. Oh my god, it's Team Star. Oh, whoa! Ghost type Pokemon. Hold on. I'm about to go on another catching spree. Thank you.
They just whisper that any child who mistakes Drifling for a balloon and hold on to it can wind up missing. Sister's jamming over there. It's a freaking sleepy princess anime music. This is staying in the video. Wait, what happened? I said my sister's jamming to sleepy princess anime music and then no! I- Dory, I'm only- God dang it! At least there's a bunch of shuff it. No wait, I'm only including the part where I catch the Pokemon and would I name them. I'm not running into you again. I've suffered that fate too much. Oh my god, it's a squawkabilly. So Shuppin, no matter what I do, you're gonna die. So please just like stay in the Pokeball. Oh, come on! Is it wrong that I want to punt this thing? I just want to punt everything in this game. Please don't break out. Thank you. I love to feed on feelings of envy and malice. It is upright horn catches the emotions of people. Dang it, I ran out of letters. I was gonna type in scream catcher. It feeds on envy and malice. And it catches people's emotions. <gasps> oh! Dumper? He's evolving? Oh, I feel so soon. Evolve, my child! Evolve, grow larger! What is that? Claude Sire? I love him. Spiny fish? When attacked, this Pokemon will retaliate by sticking thick spines out from its body. It's a risky move that puts everything on the line. What? It's 5'11? It's 500 pounds? This thing is huge! My little dumpy boy! Oh god! What the heck is that? What is that? Is that a Super Lechonk? When I was out catching Pokemon, uh, the other day, off camera. Oinkalong? Oinkalong? I don't know. Uh, Drip tried to evolve. So, I guess this is what it was gonna evolve into? Caught off guard. Cool. Don't care. So, I'm not gonna catch this thing. Cause I'm just gonna, instead I'm just going to wait. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait for Drip to evolve. Cause I'm gonna get it with a lot less effort. Underdeveloped also tried evolving. Oh, look at him, he's so big. Miss Oinklong, whatever, please. Oh, that was cool. Just had the spikes grow out of it. Hold on, I want to see that again. Huh. That's cool. Oh, look at him. My dumpy boy. Is that a shiny? I swear. No. Okay. Okay, it's just a dude. Okay. I swear, if that was shiny, I was gonna lose my mind! I don't need to converse with you. Oh, that Lit Leo just spawned into existence. That is a Komala? Teddy Yursa? Hold on, there's so much stuff down here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm setting this. Oh my god, there's those charcoal Tauros here. I'm setting this as a destination. And then I'm going back here, because I want to do the gym. It's already been 20 minutes. Alright, onwards to the gym. So you just successfully gathered 10 sunflora and brought them over to the sunflora lawn. That means you've cleared the gym test. Congratulations. You've earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Brassius? The, vir the verdant virtuoso? Yeah, I'm ready to burn him alive.
Greetings, Challenger! It's not something he's gonna drop from the sky. How's he standing up there? Why is he standing up there? Hmm. Don't zoom in there. Yeah, does he have a knife? You did well to come this far. I am Brassius, an artist specializing in grass type Pokemon. I'm also the gym leader here at the Artisan Gym. I was observing your gym test from atop the windmill, you know. Oh, now it starts moving that he's off. The perception you displayed in finding some floor was truly... Oh, how shall I describe it? Yes, it was truly... Avant-garde. I only pray that you might demonstrate that eye for beauty in our battle as well. Why is he smirking like that? Enough talk. We must be in crafting our elaborate work... Our collaborative work of art. Ooh. The clapping? I trust that you're ready. It's time for our masterpiece to take shape. He looks depressed. Maybe that's what happens when you don't have eyebrows. Alright, unit! Burn his flower! Artist creation destruction struggle. Else your defeat will nourish my Pokemon. Um. See, that's not really how it's gonna work. Show me the Wudo without the pseudo. <laughs> Smoliv? I finally get to see a Smoliv. Um. I don't want to just use Unit this whole time because he's, uh. Well, then again, my two members that I'm actually going to keep on here, one of them has already evolved. He's probably almost to his final evolution. Like, these two are staying on. These two, j these guys just need to evolve. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna switch train them. Well, I mean, what level is this small live? Drip can take a small live. Yeah, it's only level 16. Easy. A gold voice. Ooh, and a crit. Ooh, that's all it did as a crit. I can easily take this down with just drip. There, see? Easy. Pseudo Wudo. Yes, the true Wudo without the pseudo. I cannot wait. This has promise. Yes, let's lead this artistic endeavor to its conclu conclusive stage, I think he said. I don't like how Pseudo Wudo looks in this game. His texture just feels wrong. Allow me to touch this work up slightly. I'll call it Truly Wudo. I still haven't terrestrialized once. Yeah, big boy. Is the crown covering his eyes? Oh, that is amazing. He won't even see when he dies. <laughs> he only survived because of Sturdy. At times, art becomes race against the clock. Let's increase the pace. Trailblaze? That doesn't matter. That did it. That did six damage. Oh, I'm so sorry, Pseudo Wudo. Burn. He didn't even see what happened. Oh, Palmy leveled up. Unit wants to learn Snarl. Hmm. You yells lower special attack. Um. 
60, 50. Yeah, this is worse in all regards. It doesn't even flinch. <laughs> He's losing it. Avant God. Thank you for the money, sir. Call me. Please evolve. What? Underdevelop is evolving? Alright, I was in the middle of recording. Stop. Alright, I was in the middle of recording. My mic shut off. I don't know how much I missed. Hopefully it wasn't important. But, uh, Nimona is talking to me. I finished the gym. Catch you later. Hope you know I'm, on, I'm gonna want to battle if we run into each other. Okay. Uh, whatever. Hopefully my mic doesn't do that again because that was pretty annoying. So if you're a province three, that is a Pokemon though. The Dunsparks from before. The poison Dunsparks. Um, oh, I might need to tackle this thing. I don't want to kill it with another round. Now I should break the terrestrialization. Really? It didn't? Or it's just at the end of the turn? What? Huh. Here we go, finally. Does it just stop you when you get to that its damage amount? Huh, the first Pokemon I'm gonna use a Great Ball for. Dunsparce. Toxnick. You yeah, ever doom myself? Oh my god, does Dunsparce finally evolve in this game? Oh, drip. Yeah, we know. I don't care. Alright, next target. Uh, Stonecliff Man. He's right there, right? Yeah. Stony Cliff Man. Please don't trigger a cutscene. I'm begging you. Yes! I can airdrop him! Back here. Ooh. Hidden item. Snarl. That is again Team Star's base. Boom. Oh. Let me grab the item! Oh my god! No, I'm taking- I'm, I'm grabbing this one. Are these just like- Are these items even real? You're- I'm gonna lose it. Are they- are these items even real? I physically grabbed them. I'm pressing A! You can hear it! This is crazy. I'm just gonna fight Stone Man. Wee! Oh, come on. Dang it. Am I healed? Come on, let me fix that. Wait. Did he just dip? Wait! He's trying to run! Little jerk thinks he can run from me! How unfortunate for you!
Don't look at me like that. Claw! Cloth the Stony Cliff Titan. What level is he? Vice Grip? Don't kill me. That wasn't that dangerous. Oh! <laughs> dangerous for him, though! Get him! He's trying to escape! Hold on. Now that I've done that, can I grab these items? Because that's actually kind of irritating me. Um! What? Yeah, yeah, I see you. It's just in the ground now? These items. Oh my god. This one's literally in the ground. There. Perfect chance. Now I airdrop you. Oh. Okay. Um. Titan Claw began eating something. The Herba Mystica. Jelly, you found it? And that thing's the Stony Cliff Titan? No cloth's got any business being that big. Is he even stronger now after eating those herbs? Let's watch ourselves, Jelly. So is that the cloth's force lose? Oh my god! Shelter? Oh, Arvin's battling alongside me. But I was very confused. <laughs> no. I'll just attack the cliff thing. Well, this thing's a little rough. Shelter's gonna serve up a helping of defeat on half shell. This thing is pathetic compared to Dumper. No! Why are you making it easier? Oh, come on! Stop stealing all my attacks! Oh my god! Well, 95% accuracy, so I'm destined to miss. I don't know why my mic keeps doing that. It's really annoying. I don't know, again, I don't know how much I missed. Anyway. I think the play here... You know, I don't care anymore. I just want this thing dead. You're not really gonna let Arvin land the last hit on this thing. Oh my god, you literally did. <gasps> Big boy. <laughs> the G is just right in the middle of their heads. Alright, look at my little buddy coming through like a champ. These time Pokemon are... Yeesh, I sure don't like having something so tough to get me. I bet somewhere in here is more of that Urban Mystica the Titan was eating. Quick, let's have a look around before it comes back. What do you mean? It died! Watch your step, it's pretty dark. No way! What? I'm just gonna be- oh. I thought it was gonna be just like a bush of it. This is one of the Urban Mystica. It's exactly how it looked in the book. Arvin found the sweet Urban Mystica. Yes, we actually found one! It's all thanks to you, Jelly! Now, let's see. What does the book have to say? It says here the sweet Urban Mystica is good for gut health and helps aid digestion. <laughs> it says it's great for stomach aches too, or when you want to stimulate the old appetite. Now, if I can just get him to eat some. Alright, now it's my turn to show off what I can do. You're about to get a taste of my cooking. Yeah, yeah, watch ya! Here you go! 
An Arvin original sandwich packed full of herbs. I'll even give you a badge, you know, as a thank you for taking on that Titan Pokemon. I call it a Titan badge, made to myself using a replica of the gym badges, you see. I'm taking a picture of all of these. Oh my god, Arvin looks so happy. Oh, Koridon. Oh, what's up with this thing? It just comes out of its poke of, of, out of its bowl whenever it wants. It wants the sandwich. <laughs> hey now, no, that's not for you. Urgh. You want to give your sandwich to Koridon? Yes. I want him to be strong. Hey, I went through all the trouble of making that for you, and you just give it away? <sighs> Hope you realize that's all there was, so now there's none left for you. Yeah, I knew that. Come on, now you're making me feel like the selfish jerk here. Here, you're gonna have mine. You better save her every last bite. Gigya! Huh, you already ate the whole thing? Ah, gigyas! Oh! Now you can dash? Hey, what is it me or this sort of, is this thing sort of powered up somehow? Agya! Can't believe it, the power of those herbs is really worth guarding. I bet if they had that big of an effect on your Pokemon, then I bet. Uh, I bet it'll come super handy for that treasure hunt assignment we've got. Yep, that's what I bet. Hopefully, well, you both filled your bellies with some of my legendary sandwiches. That's just time to tidy everything up. Now, we did kind of just make a picnic on a rock. Oh, don't worry about helping. After battling a titan, you've earned a break. Just leave this all to me, though I'd be much obliged to start searching out of the remaining four Urban Mystica for us. Bye-bye, Arvin. I really owe you. Yeah, you do, kinda. Oh. Okay, the coast is clear. You can come out now. Does he have like a sick Pokemon or something? Rotototo. Hello, Jelly. This is Sada. I detect that Koridon has regained some of its original power. She's now now be able to dash at high speeds while you're riding upon it. Have Koridon dash by pressing the left stick, but watch out for trees and dashing at high speeds. Shock a Chi while dashing. Pokemon lurking up. A Pokemon lurking up among the branches will fall down, allowing you to battle them. Hope you'll continue to explore Paldea with Koridon, as you've done here. Your route is not fixed, but open before you. Seek out your own path using your map and the tools you have at hand. Whenever you find your curiosity peak, you should go and explore as your heart desires. All that you experience will help you grow in some way, great or small. Go forth on your journey and take good care of Koridon for me. I am a speedy boy now! Come on, Koridon. I'm not running into you again! Oh! He's fast. The fastest lot on the lawns. I don't know why I'm speaking this way. Finally! I can pick these up. Alright, next up. Mela. I'm gonna fight her now. I mean, all I really need to do is... Yup! Ah! Uh! Oh, <laughs> Beep, Kurtz. Back up, kid. You you can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. You want in? Ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. No. Wow, they don't let you just jump in on them? To go all the way around? Ugh. Fine. In fire is over here. I might as well just fly to Artisan and go around. 
<clears throat> East area pro East Province Area One. God, on your day off. Oh my God, the Black Tauros. All right, there's so many new Pokemon over here. Oh my God, it's Wiglet. And it's a dragon type. <sighs> that startled me. That looks like a Steeny with long legs. But also, what is that tentacle? Whoops. Oh my God, it, it is a skip loom. Oh wait, I gotta find some water. Come on, I gotta find if there's any water around here. Oh my God, Cyclizer! I have you like ancestor. I'm riding your ancestor right now. What do you think about that? Get in the ball, baby Don. Oh, Taurus just dashed through me. Whoa, what is that? Where? What is that city? Oh, that's um. Iono's gym town. I thought I, I did see a Taurus dash into me. That's Iono's gym town. I'm definitely heading there next. That place looks sick. All right, this is a perfect time to look at the differences. Wait, aren't those the same gender? Right? Dang it! I didn't mean to encounter you. Yeah, that's emo one. Hmm. So is that one. So all these like darker ones here are the uh dudes. And this is the girl, right? If I'm correct. Yeah, that's the girl. Please let me escape. Uh! Pokeball. Die your hit. Oh, herd of Tauros. Antidote. Come on, I'm getting too close to this area. Oh, it's just a Meryl. I'll catch all these Pokemon later. Just let me get to Team Star. Are you being close to their base? Yeah, I just went the wrong way. I'm like an idiot. To Team Star, we're riding to Team Star. We are going to go to Team Star. Oh, he's right there. And why'd you go and do that? I just wanted to make some sandwiches for a picnic. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Were you using your Slowpoke's tail? Huh? I see the universe breaking over there. I don't think the world can handle me looking over there anymore. Yoink. No, 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 get me out of this battle! No, 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 no! I'm gonna lose it! Look at that! No, don't tell me it just despawned! Just let me out! You're kidding me! Ain't no way! It's another. It's another fate! I'm gonna 
lose it! It's the exact shiny I got before! I said I didn't like his evolution, now I get to keep this one! Just how it is! No, I don't care. I'm catching you. You can't stop me. And it's a crit. This is my fate! Oh my god, ain't no way! I just found another one! Shy, I'm pretty sure that's the Egyptian god of, of luck, I think. How did I manage to find <coughs> another shiny? Of the same Pokemon, too! After complaining that I didn't like its evolution sh shiny. Pommy. I don't care. I, I almost ran into them. Just give me that protein. Forever Squire, cool. Don't care. Emo Pig, do not care. I almost ran into it again! <coughs> I'm not falling for that stupid bird's tricks anymore. Does this thing have pickup? It does! Oh, I'm keeping this thing on my party for a bit. Oh, come on! Sun flora flood the floral filth dumb formation. What? Yeah, it is a tongue twister. I don't even know that other word. Sun flora flood the flu dot. No, I messed up. You're doing good before you lost. This really is a big shame that you lost, huh? To be a waiter is to wait. I'll wait for the perfect moment to take care of you. Saw the waiter! So, uh, poison jab. Thank you, Saw the waiter. N no, wait just a moment. No, you're the person who waits. You said that yourself, you're the waiter. Onward! To victory! Oh, jeez. Onward, down the cliff! That's a crab roller. Wait, no! Is that a crab roller? You're new. What the heck? Finizen? Nice. That magic carp flopping underwater? That's nice. Splin! It's Splin! Ooh, this thing evolves twice. Oh my god, the frame rate. No, don't get off of it. Just get me out. Oh, now the frame rate wants to be nice. I'm not going back over there for a bit. That frame rate was like physically painful. Pokemon go. There was just a terrestrial Pokemon here. I saw it. Oh my god! You're kidding me! How did I find another shiny? Oh my god. I, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. I'm too afraid of KOing this thing. I'm switching to a weaker Pokemon. I'm just gonna nuzzle it. Up oh, the void has to appear every episode. Come on. Wait, is this a gr is this dick gonna kill me? All right, I should move faster. I just need to nuzzle it. Paralyzed. Please don't use dig. Alright. I don't care if underdeveloped dies. Oh my god, how did I find another shiny? Ew, what happened to Yuna? 
evolved. Okay, we've been on a detour for very long, although it was very, uh... It, it worked, is what I'll say. It worked in my favor, this detour. But now I'm gonna actually go to Team Star. Like I've been planning to do for the past, like... What, 30 minutes? 40? God, now I'm just at the, on the lookout, looking at every single Pokemon. If I miss a shiny, I'll never forgive myself. This mic keeps turning off, I'm gonna lose it. Tadbulb! It lo one, it looks like a little Kirby. See? And two, this evolves into Belly Bolt. Definitely. I don't know why I named it Forecaster, but I'm going with it. What? Rotototototo. Cassiopeia? Yeah. Cassiopeia here. I see you're getting close to one of Team Star's bases. I take it this means you've decided to join my operation? Yeah, I guess. Thank you. This, you're officially a member of Operation Starfall. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's Clavel. <laughs> okay. That's funny. <laughs> Does Operation Starfall of yours have room for one more member? Wh what? Who are you? Name's Clive. Alright, that's funny. Uh, how long have you been spying on us? No need to get your hackles raised. I'm a pal of our mutual friend here, isn't that right, Jelly? No! <laughs> Shy as ever, I see. We're talking about going up against Team Star here. Not something you join in for fun. I'm well aware. I just need to sort out some unsettled business with Team Star, that's all. Oh! It's raining now, I guess. Besides, I tend to get the job done well. Not that you can take my word for it, but it's true. Suppose I'm hardly in position to refuse help. Welcome to the operation, Clive. Clive, Cleve, whatever. Great, that settles it then. I think I heard your name earlier. Cassiopeia, was it? Who exactly are you? Team Star and I share some history. That's all I'll say for now. See, in that case, I won't press you any farther. Good. Now back to business. Let's talk Operation Starfall. Yes, what would you have us do? Simply put, I want you to ra rate each one of the Team Star's bases. Then you'll defeat the bosses of the team and put an end to their rule. Put an end to their rule? You mean we need to oust these bosses from the rules somehow? That's right, Team Star is made up of five squads and each of these squads has its own base. You should be able to see the front gates of one of those bases now, in fact. Ah, uh, yes, I can see them over there. On the other side is the base proper. And somewhere within that base lies one of your targets, a squad boss. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea. Well, that's just the outline. The key to the whole operation is the code that each team has to follow. If someone challenges one of the squad bosses to a battle they have no choice but to accept. And what's more, they just so happen to lose that battle, they must forfeit their role as a boss altogether. Went ahead and issued challenges to each base under your name, Jelly. You're basically they're basically declarations of war. Let's go! Now all the team star knows what we're looking that we're looking for a fight. So let's say we defeat all the bosses and they step down from the rules. What happens next? The rest of the team crumbles with no one left to lead them. That's what happens. It's a solid plan, but not without wrinkles. Each team, ha each base has a bunch of Pokemon inside to fend off intruders and the base of themselves are a considerable size. Your garden variety trainer would be overrun long before they can get anywhere near the boss. That's why your skills are essential for this operation, Jelly. Defeat the Pokemon inside the base and drag the boss out from where they're hiding. First things first though, you want to deal with any grunts that might be guarding the front gates. What will you be doing in the meantime? As like I said before, I have a history of Team Star. It means I can't operate out in the open. I'll back you up from afar. All right, and what will my role be? Sorry, but I don't trust you completely just yet. For now, I'd like you to monitor the bases and act as jelly support. 
You're a cautious one, all right? I respect that. I'll be in touch again when the plan advances to the next stage. Good hunting out there. Hunting? Well, go get him, Jelly. All right, I, we know you're Clavel. I have no idea what you mean, but if anyone asks about me, remember this. I'm Clive, a normal academy student just like you. Nothing more, nothing less. When you're not good at acting that way, Mr. Pompadour. What the? Who are you? Oh. Oh, whoa, you can't be here. This bitch belongs to Team Star. If you don't clear out real quick, I'm gonna have to come at you in self-defense, you get me? No. Well, alright, time for me to self-defense the snot out of ya. Easy. I defended myself alright, but it wasn't enough. Oh! Salt Shroom is evolving! My little Nopoli, who's obviously a Mario Mushroom. What the heck? That is a Minecraft enemy. Man, you're crazy strong. Wait, are you that kid who declared war on Team Star? You call me Jelly. Whoa, thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista, Star! I want to kick him in the face. Hey, Jelly! Cassiopeia told me to scope out the fire crew's base. I thought I'd come and give you some backup now that I'm through, but it seems you're all set. Foo Foom? Huh? Char Cadet! Foo Foom! Is that you, Charlos? I thought so. What are you doing here? Is this yours? This is Charlos, the Char Cadet. Foom. One of the Pokemon the Academy takes care of within its grounds. Ah, Charlos, wait! He ran off. Looks like the enemy has some connection to Steam Tar's fire crew. Better chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. You press ahead into the base, Jelly. I see you dealt with the grunt standing guard. Nice work. Stage inside that base of the fire crew's. Stage inside that base of the Team Star's fire crew. The shh. The Shider sh uh. Shedder Squad? Their boss, Mela, is the best all-rounder of the team. She fixes any and every problem thrown her way. Though her methods are heavy-handed. Our declaration of war must have made her blood boil. I bet even now, her grunts are hard at work inside their base, trying to keep her fury under control. That means your best move is to take all down the grunts down nice and quick. Once there's no one left to help Mela keep her cool, she should come out and confront you. Ring the bell on the on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the sh the Shatter Squad off the map. All right, let's ring it. First three Pokemon in your party. That's what we're going with here. In which case, I think I want to move. Leg day up to just get him leveled up. If that's how this is working. Oh, it's an S inside. Don't burr! Care for that jelly team star's unique way of doing battle. They call it Star Barrage. To get through it, you need to use the R button to send out multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Your Pokemon get on low health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. The grunts you'll be facing will heal up their Pokemon too, so stay sharp out there. Be cursed! Heads up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking he can raid our base. Clearly he doesn't know who he's messing with. Let's go teach him a lesson he won't forget. To our unwanted guests, if you can defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you with an appearance. 30 Pokemon? For the, with what I have right now, that's easy. Two. One. Go! Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh, jeez. Unit. No, no, no. Unit. Okay. Um... Okay, that's six already. 
Can Leg Day even fight this thing? Dumper's the key! Dumper is the key! Dumper the legend! Dumper hasn't taken a single lick of damage! Oh. This is not a battle. This is a slaughter fest. Oh, what's that? A hound door? Oh no! Looks like you've almost defeated my starter. Too bad I have this behemoth on my side. Oh, poor Nummel. Bop. 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 Oh my god. Oh no. Unit. How sad. Oh no. Unit fainted. Okay, I'm actually gonna go back and heal. God, I've already defeated... <laughs> I only have four left. It hasn't even been two minutes. God, Dumper is the god here. Oh, you're simply giving me the win. Okay. Thank you. Now, Dumper, if you don't mind, kill it. Oh my god. <laughs> that was a slaughter fest. Our defense is our breach. It's up to the boss now. Alright, I've been waiting to see these types of fights for a while. What is that thing on the front of the car? There's multiple things on the car. Mela! Boss of Team Stars Fire Crew, Mela. So, you're the dope who picked to fight with Team Star. I don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. You challenge us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. Mela of Team Star. Mello, I'm sorry, but you're going to have your reputation ruined. Right here, right now, you're going down. Oh, wait, never mind. She's level 27. Hold on. She's, like, kind of insane. Oh, wait, I have my whole team now. Cool. But, yeah, no, never mind. She's, like, kind of insane. Mud shot? No, I should have set up Toxic Spikes. Who's gonna torture until there's nothing but Ash left. Oh. Eee, that's kind of scary. That was for the rest of Shredder's squad. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, so here, I heal. But he's gonna flame wheel again, so I am gonna still take it some damage. But hey, the goal is to preserve my life. He's gonna do another big chunk of damage. I'm gonna mud shot again. I don't think this is gonna kill, though. Oh, never mind. It just avoided it. Uh, so, Dumper is dead? Dumper, no! Let's see what Salt Shroom can do. But first, uh, I am going to heal Dumper. And yes, I'm using revives. Do I care? Not really. Alright. Smack down this. I really should have spent that first turn in Toxic Spikes. Using Toxic Spikes. Reveroom? I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. That's that what that thing is. I'm fighting the car. Um Okay. First, let's try and lower its speed. Blazing torque? Speed boost? Oh, this is really doing nothing. God, it's getting speed boost. Hold on. I go right now. Heal Dumper. I'm gonna lower its speed set as much as I can. Never mind. God, it's too fast. And it's just getting faster. Blazing Torque is definitely... has to be some type of move where 
the faster you are, the more damage it does. That's the only logical explanation. This might be kind of tough. Alright, that only did 30. But I'm doing a lot less damage. How's the speed still rising? That's what that thing looks like. It's only at three speed? Oh, jeez. That thing's just gonna keep getting stronger, isn't it? Oh! It's because I'm making it speed fall. That's why. I'm balancing it. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna get one more speed boost because I need to heal. Oh, it's gotten two boosts to its speed. And I'm burned? No, you're kidding me. Oh, no. This is about to go horribly. It's planning to kill with this shot. And the burn is doing more than my shell bell is healing. Don't die, don't die! No, the crit! Oh, God! I need Dumper to fight this thing. But that move is just gonna keep getting stronger. Who can take a hit? I think Unit can take a hit. Alright, come on! Alright, first off, I need to heal Dumper. I don't know if I can actually do it without Dumper. That's the problem. Overheat? Oh! This is perfect! It won't be able to do as much damage to me here. Just in case it has some other move. I'm just... I need to get Dumper healed up. If I don't, then... I'm just... Yeah, because it's screeching. It's setting up to try and kill me. Because there's no way it just has fire moves. I can maybe make it flinch. It's still not very effective. But I'm not faster than it. Things at max speed. I'm afraid to see what it can do. I'm gonna just round. Blazing Torque, that shouldn't kill. Ooh, wait, that's big damage. Maybe I should heal back up unit. Come on! Blazing Torque. Jeez. That still does a lot, though. Round. It's doing... Ugh. It gets two Blazing Torques off before I get one round. But it's in red now. I can't sustain this cycle for long. I'm gonna run out of Hyper Potions. It needs to not... When is it gonna run out of PP for that move? Jeez, does that thing have like 30? Alright. It's big damage. I don't think another one is gonna do it. God. Oh, the move is so scary. Dumper, you did your part. The two actual members I'm probably gonna keep on my team. Oh, come on! Wait, you didn't Blazing Torque this turn. Did it miss? Victory! Yes! You defeated Mela, Team Star. really how it's gonna end? What a hassle. <clears throat> About a year and a half ago? And what a hassle. Pulled it, pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. Managed to catch a bunch of Char Cadet to evolve. Now it'll be enough to power the Star Mobile I can finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad. Tiddlings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. These are all the Team Star leaders. 
Oh, shut up with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. deal. The girls at the academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they stop picking on her. Although I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. What? Come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star. It's finally happening. And the big boss? What prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. Finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The drill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That clot sire of yours really let us have it. No, it was clots. It was, uh, dumper and unit. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. Take the star badge. Be proud of yourself. <laughs> what is that image with that face? With that face? You could at least show some some emotion. Well, I'm at it. You can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Flame charge. Killing yourself is flame. The user attacks a target, then building up momentum, it attacks. It boosts its speed stat. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Claude sire. Can he even learn flame charge? Also, look, he can't walk with those boots on. You got what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mel of Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who's you supposed to be? Woo! A Charcadet. Wait. Fufum? Well, if it didn't, Charlos. What are you doing here? Team that came to this base looking for you. Woo! You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. You have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? Fufum! Fum fum! Charlos. To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? The same team stars hold itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First, I heard a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. What about the modified car you were, monitor you were motoring right now? Around in just now. The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. We never used it before? What's this about a big fight? Have you ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star? Not Operation Star Fall? No, this is the first time I'm hearing it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. For me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we will always treasure. What? Rototototo! Jelly? It's me. She's Mel and no longer carries her star bags, a symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, didn't she? I see. Now there's no boss to lead them. The rest of the sh of the Shedder squad won't last long. Oh, Mella. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. How about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. You're in 5,000 LP. Now make more kinds of TMs. Tux Delivery adds some new entries to the range of TMs you can make in the TM machine. These new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even farther. In any case, you did some solid work out there. So much that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from the supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Penny? H Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. Penny? Probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Yeah. Why are you the supply unit? Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as a part of my independent study, you know? The treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go, the, your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Pokemon Materials. You should be able to make tons of TMs with those. And Cassiopeia said you get more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Um, I also heard about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. 
Seems you're pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure our operation will, just, will go just fine. And four more squad bosses left, so um, good luck. Bye, Penny. Oh, I hear I hear a gimme ghoul. I see the gimme ghoul. <sighs> what are you freaking out about? You're underneath the roof. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm done now. That took a while, but it was also like, <laughs> hey, I found two shinies. Uh, uh bye. <laughs>